what's up 2k nola how you guys doing out there um i wanted to talk a little bit about how you can survive your first year of college i'm excited for this video because i think this video will be some good information that you guys can do and take with you going into your first year of college so so number one would be time management now time management you want to do things like prioritize your work prioritize your time um overcome Procrastination was going to be a really big thing for you guys. Make sure you're setting up deadlines to get your work done. Make sure you know your deadlines, know your schedule, and simple things like that to help you with time management. Homework. You have to be mentally prepared for homework because you will get a lot of it. Next, socializing and networking, which is really important. You never know how many opportunities can come available to you when you're networking. You can get job opportunities, letter of recommendations, referrals, anything when you network. So remember, key, put that pride aside and that shyness aside, and networking is very important. Socializing is also very important. You also want to go out and meet people, talk to people, be nice, make friends. Um, some of you guys will be going to college alone for your first year, and if you're one of the people not going with your friends, um, having people that you know or get to know will help when it comes to doing homework, will help when it comes to doing assignments. Library. Make sure you spend some time in the library if you want peace and quiet. Now the Freshman 15. Um, I know you guys are going to hear a lot about the Freshman 15. What is Freshman 15? It is when you guys come to college your first year. You don't really know what to make. So you're eating a lot of junk. You're buying a lot of snacks. Buying a lot of fast food. And you gain weight. So how do you avoid that? What I would do is I would get fresh meals and I would budget my money if you don't if you're not on the meal plan to where you're getting the three meals a day um, just budget really well and cook fresh meals if you do have a meal plan make sure you take a plate home with you because you don't know when you're gonna eat again you don't know when you're gonna get hungry again so just little steps like that next is slave battle the stupidest battle of all time don't be that guy or that girl to come to college fresh every day. The new J's, all that. You won't make a statement. Nobody cares about that in college. All they care about is the GPA, homework, and classwork. Also, the sleigh battle can become very expensive. There's nothing wrong with going to college with slippers, tights, gym shorts, sweats. I'm working out and taking naps. Like, working out is going to be good for your brain, believe it or not. Be good for your energy if you continue to do something that's healthy for your body do that naps i took naps after i would do my schooling before i did my homework i would take a nap so i would recharge just to do homework so naps is very underrated when you're going through your day because i didn't want to cram my day into work school homework without taking a nap so don't underestimate those naps man get you a little nap in before you get your homework in, that'll be very good for your resting and your mentality. Make sure you contact your family every two weeks so they could at least know you're okay. All right, Greek life. Your freshman year of college, um, you're gonna be excited about hearing all these different things about Greek stuff. And it's all fine and dandy, but it's your first year of college. Don't worry about none of it. You don't have to speak on none of it. Just don't worry about it completely. Instead of worrying about Greek life, go explore some of the programs. About See whatever programs your college has to offer. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of things that you can do right now. But not your first year. Don't worry about Greek Thanks. life. Don't go to college looking for a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a hubby, a babe. Let it happen. If it happens, it happens. But don't let a male or a female be your distraction. Have fun, but keep it cordial. Keep it to a safe distance. Don't let a relationship be your distraction. Um, another thing, while you guys are socializing out there, make sure you avoid the clowns. There are going to be a lot of guys out there who think that they're going to take some of the foolishness they have back at home into college. Make sure you avoid those guys. There's going to be a lot of guys um, just talking crazy. I don't understand it because I don't know how you're going to be a crip or a blood with a science degree or uh, neurosurgeon degree it just it just doesn't mix. rent your books make sure that you rent your books if you only gonna use it for that one class if you don't have to buy the book make sure you rent the book makes it much cheaper you save a lot more money 
All right, last but not least, man, getting around school. So getting around school, um, a lot of people underestimate bikes, you know, bikes and scooters. You know, you don't have to drive all the way around school. You definitely don't want to walk all the way around campus. If it's a big campus and it's hot out there, raining out there, stuff like that, um, just having a little bike is something to get around on. Some people actually use skateboards to get around if they're on a bigger campus. So that's one thing you shouldn't underestimate. And that's gonna be it for this one, man. And whatever's good for your soul, remember, do that, hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And this one was requested on ax2knola at gmail.com. So we got some of the team to do that one for you guys. And remember, if you guys have a question, you have a topic, you have any requests that you want us to talk about, um, someone requested that we talk about this. How do you survive your first year of college? And there you have it, man. Some tips from 2K Nola. And we out, man. What up?